Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is three sum with multiplicity. Given an integer array R and integer target, return the number of tuples i, j, k such that i is less than j and j is less than k and r i plus r j plus r k is going to equal to the target. If the answer is very large, return it modulo 10 to the ninth power plus 7. So here we can see if we had a list of integers like this and a target of 8, we see that 1, 2, 5 occurs 8 times, 1, 3, 4 occurs 8 times, and so on and so forth, giving us an output of 20. Now with this example, we have 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, and a target of 5. Uh, we know that to get 5, we can only have 2, 2, 1 as our combination, and we can see that we can choose 1, 1 from 2, 1's two ways, and 2, 2's from 4, 2's six ways. And that way we can just multiply 2 times 6 and we're going to get an output of 12. So this problem's not easy. This problem's a really hard one. And here's going to be our approach. We will do some sort of variation of threesome. But because of these multiple numbers that can occur multiple times, what we'll do is create some sort of set and sort it in order. And we'll have to have some sort of counter object that counts up the number of times each integer occurs. Now, depending on the combination of numbers that form our target, if, say, we had two twos or something like that, we could use our a mathematical equation to count up, uh, depending on how many counts we have, to get our output here. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's start by creating some variables. First thing I want to do is create the modular. I'm going to make that 10 to the 9th power plus 7. Now what we'll do is create a counter object. And this will be the counter of R. And we, instead of going through an entire array list, we're going to create some sort of set. Um, what I'm going to do is just say sorted for the counter object. And that's going to give us all the keys in here uh, that are unique. All right, so now that we have that, uh, let's also get the n, which is going to be the length of keys. And we are going to do a typical threesome. We'll say 4i num of, say, call it num1 in enumerate keys. Uh, let's see. First thing we want to do is we need our j and k. So let's get j to also equal i, and k is going to be equal to n minus 1. Okay, so while, um, let's see here, while j is less than k, or I should say j is less or equal to k, uh, we should get our other numbers. So num2 and num3 is going to be equal to, let's see, keys of j and keys of k. All right, so. What I'm going to do is create, like, this is kind of like the threesome problem. I have to create a new target here, which is going to be target minus our num1. And we'll say if num2 plus num3, if this is what? Less than t, then we want to increase our, our second pointer by 1. Else, if num2 plus num3, three is greater than t, then we want to decrease it, so k minus equal one. Now otherwise, uh, if the only other situation is if num1 plus num2 plus num3 equals our target, uh, that means we've found a combination that works, right? But we can't just, um, let's say we call this output, like normally if everything was distinct, all we would need to do then is just say, get our counter object and say uh, num1 times c of num2 times c of num3. Okay, this would be the case, but this isn't gonna always work. And the reason for that is, uh, depending on if these are unique or if some of these are repeats, our combination equation is gonna be a little bit different. So if, uh, if it was like, I, let's say, less than j, less than k. If this was the case, then we could do this. 
But uh, if, let's say, two of them were the same, so say like i equal j, and this was in k, uh, then we'd actually have to use our combination equation. And we, luckily, we know that. Uh, that's going to be like, you're going to have to look it up, but we, we normally use our, like, if we had 5, it would be something like 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, something like that. Uh, but since we know that only two of these are equal, what we'll do is uh, subtract one like this from our count. And then we'll also divide it by two. Now we have a, another case here. If i is less than j, but j is equal to k, then we do something similar, but we'll make this part b2, this would be 3, like that. Now, otherwise, there is one more case that all three of them are equal. Uh, if that's the case, then we have to uh, subtract each one at least once, like this. And this one minus 2. And this one's going to be divided by 2 times uh, 3, which would equal 6. Okay, and also, when we find this to be the case, we also need to decrease both our pointers. Or, I'm sorry, increase the J pointer and decrease our K pointer. Okay, so once that's finished, we can just return our output. Uh, make sure to do our modular this and I actually think I need to reconvert this to an integer. So let's see if this works. Okay, I think I messed something up here. C uh, number three is not subscriptable. I don't know why I did that. Multiple there. All right, so let's see if that works. Two. I don't like doing that. Let's try that one more time. There we go, accepted. So time complexity wise, this is n squared and we do use O of n space because of this keys thing. Now, it might look like I'm amazing and I solved this on my own. I did not. I spent an embarrassing amount of time trying to solve this and ended up having to look it up. So uh, there are variations to using this. You could uh, use iter tools and find the combinations and, and, and do something similar like this. Uh, but this made the most sense to me. It, uh, I'm very, you know, if you know your threesome, then you should kind of be able to get what's going on here. Uh, it's really this part that I had no idea that I was supposed to do it like this, but um, it's good to, I guess, rehash your mathematical equations and such. Hopefully this helped. Um, I know it's not really intuitive, but as soon as you kind of get the idea, then it becomes a little bit easier. So, All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.